All right. Anybody been to Kuriyoki and JP? <laughs> well, then you know what I'm talking about. It's, you know, it's exactly what it sounds like, queer singing karaoke in a dive bar. And uh, half the time it's a nightclub, so this poem uh, sort of addresses some of the issues that go on in the queer community because one night I was actually at Kuriyoki and uh, I'd seen a woman sexually molesting and harassing other women in, in the space. And I'd never really seen that in a queer space before, so it got me to think that even as a minority community, um, we still have a lot of work to do. So, this poem is called Queer Nation. It's microphone night. And dim lights make for good karaoke. Hey, this is my town, where feminists rule and old school is cool again, and new school's working through lots of identity issues. But it is an open door policy in gay old queer nation, so come in with your red, black, orange, green, blue, yellow handkerchiefs dangling out of your back pockets or wrapped around your neck with your bag ties, your skinny ties, your tie-dye, your cuff pants, your trucker hats, your mohawks and faux hawks, your red socks, your hard packs and soft packs. Just bring it. And I'm frozen, watching as beers fly from bars into crowds and girl boys and boy girls make out while the DJ blasts house, hip hop, and 80s. Yes, I said house, hip hop, and 80s. I'm confused too. <laughs> but at midnight, the line gets long outside and chain smokers choke on each other's smoke outside and baby dykes find pride outside while hippies ride their bikes home to compost at midnight. Man, it is gay here. I mean, it's queer here. And everything is perfect here in gay old queer nation with liberty and justice for all. But I'm watching. I'm watching as her hand slides down another girl's ass. And she doesn't want it. Hey, I thought that our people were past this. That everyone was a feminist, nonconformist, boundary-pushing, progressive, and enlightened spiritual being. But I'm wrong to think that queer people were born with an inherent knowledge that pushed past the nurture of America. But the truth is that we screw up too. See, we still haven't found our groove on the outskirts of society. We're still using old blueprints with bad foundations, dealing with domestic violence in our queer communities, too. And you can still hear the words nigger, gook, chink, and spick at a gay bar fight. You can still watch date rape in mixed drinks under rainbow disco lights. You can still see butches treat femmes like second-class citizens. You can still hear women fighting for voice and taking space at gay prides. You can still see trans women and trans guys fighting for voice among dykes. You can still hear other cultures fighting for voice among whites. It's microphone night. And dim lights make for good karaoke. But what songs are we singing tonight when freedom is invisible, even among the invisible? Hey, I thought we got it right this time. But I'm still spitting rhymes about issues that aren't dead, and I still can't read a queer paper without getting a migraine. So we've still got a long way to go. But if we can erase the boundary lines between the communities that confine us, then change will come faster. So what do you say? Well, I say that one day we can sing unity through the word world. And one day we can sing unity through the word people. And one day we can sing unity through the word queer. And one day we can sing unified under dim lights, pride parades of all kinds, and through microphones that preach peace worldwide. In queer nation, where everyone is queering the notes and singing rainbows. Cause that'll be the only song to sing at karaoke.